Hey everyone, Justin Conroy, Financial Dad here. Allow me to introduce you to Layla and Lexi. They're the focus of today's video because you read the title right. I've spent over $23,000 on these dogs and in this video, I'm gonna break down that number and tell you some of the stories behind some of those costs to give you an idea of what it can mean to be a pet owner. So if you've ever wondered how much it costs to own a dog, this video should give you some good insights. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn tips, tricks, and hacks related to personal finance, how to build wealth, and how to better manage your money, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a thing. So this story all starts off back in early 2013. My wife and I had just gotten married and we were about to move into our first house. At this point we had been together for about seven years and we had always talked about wanting dogs to be part of our lives. We both grew up with dogs in our childhood homes and we both felt that it was really important, especially with our future family in mind. We had decided a long time before getting married that we wanted to get a Great Dane, and it was around this time that my wife had identified a dog from a Great Dane breeder up north of Dallas. And from the first picture we ever saw of her, we knew we had to have her. So we arrive at our first big expense out of that $23,000 I mentioned earlier, because on March 15th, 2013, we bought our dear Layla for just over $1,000 from the breeder. And you can see how happy my wife was, and I felt the same. Now I'll stop here and take a moment to say that at this point in our lives, my wife and I were a bit more naive than we are today, as most young couples are. Back then, we didn't realize that not only were we probably supporting a puppy mill, we were also taking away an opportunity for a rescue dog to be saved. And I say all that to say that while we don't regret having Layla in any way, we have never and will never buy from a breeder ever again. There's too many dogs out there that need rescue, and there's simply no reason not to give one a good home. More on this later. The first few months with Layla were amazing. She was super small and super cute, and luckily for us, she was eager to learn and have fun. And let me tell you, watching a Great Dane grow is an incredible experience. They get so big so fast, you can almost watch them grow by the minute. Unfortunately though, Layla had some early issues with one of her back legs. We noticed one day that she was favoring the leg and took her to a vet a few days later because it wasn't getting any better. After a few hundred dollars in exams and x-rays, we were informed that she had a laterally luxated patella that would require surgery to correct. This brings us to our second major expense, the leg surgery. This set us back about $2,400 and three months of recovery for poor Layla. And let me tell you, keeping a three month old puppy from running around and having fun so that her leg can heal is not an easy task. But Layla's a trooper. She recovered just fine and luckily hasn't had any issues since then except for a minor permanent limb. Every year during her yearly checkup, we have the vet take an x-ray to make sure her, all of her pins are still in place and that she is okay and not in any pain. And so far, so good. Right, Layla? So for the rest of 2013, this is how it all broke down. $1,700 on vet bills, which includes checkups, heartworm pills, some vaccinations, and some general things related to her surgery, but I don't honestly know the details of those. Food came in just under $1,600 for the year, which honestly was way too much money. Back then we had Layla on a raw food diet and we weren't really paying too much attention to how much it was costing us. Once we wised up, we switched her over to a dry dog food diet. Then we have treats at about $460 and toys at about $300. Finally, for 2013, we had about $500 in general supplies. These are things like dog beds, food bowls, water bowls, collars, leashes, you get the idea. So all in all, Layla's first year cost us about $8,000. This brings us to 2014, and around January of that year, we started thinking that Layla really needed a friend to keep her company when my wife and I weren't around. So we started looking for another dog. And by this time, we had realized the error in our ways by going to a breeder for Layla, and so we started trying to find another Great Dane from a shelter. It was in March when my wife found Lexi's picture on a rescue shelter's website. And much like Layla, we fell in love with her the moment we saw her picture, and read her story. The rescue center found Lexi at the San Antonio City Dog Pound. She was a stray found by animal control roaming the streets of San Antonio and she was only a few days away from being euthanized. The rescue center took her in and she had been with them for about three months. They told us that several hundred people had inquired about her but all had declined to take her once they found out that she was deaf. It made no difference to my wife and I so as soon as we passed their screening process we drove over to San Antonio to pick her up. Once again you can see how happy my wife was to meet her. All in all, obtaining Lexi cost us about $400. And guys, let me tell you, we're so happy we were able to save her. The sad part here is that when we first brought her home, we figured out pretty quickly that she'd been abused. Now let me be clear and say I don't believe it was the shelter staff. The only thing that makes sense to me is that it must have been whoever dumped her on the street in the first place. Now you might be asking, how do I know she was abused? Well, 
When we first got her home, we figured out that the slightest movement of your hand in her direction, even to pet her, would result in her ramming her eyes shut, falling to the floor in a fetal position, and shaking for about a minute. Dogs don't react like that naturally. This is a learned behavior. It took us years to undo most of that damage, but even today, she's not fully recovered. Fortunately though, she really is one of the sweetest dogs you could possibly imagine. There's not a mean bone in her body. But anyway, cost-wise, adding Lexi to our pack really didn't have that much of an impact. 2014 turned out to be a much cheaper year overall. We had a little over $500 in both vet bills and treats, over $700 in food, which is significantly less than 2013, even with two dogs, $300 in general supplies, about $300 in toys, and about $350 for dog sitting expenses. And this is mainly just me paying my mom to come over and hang out with the dogs while I was traveling for work. So all in all, 2014 rounded out to just under $3,250 for the year. Then we come to 2015. It was a pretty uneventful year numbers wise, so I'll just put the numbers up here on the screen. The only real item of note was the high vet bill, which was due to some teeth cleaning and an extra x-ray for Lexi's hip because we thought she might be having some sort of issue. And although there weren't really any problems, the vet did note that there was a shot from a BB gun lodged in her leg. Who knows what all that poor dog went through before she was rescued. Anyway, on the last days of 2015, my wife and I were presented with an opportunity to help a friend. He was unable to take care of his dog for a while, and so we offered to foster the dog, his name was Coda, until my friend's situation changed. So all in all, 2016, 17, and 18 were all pretty consistent money-wise. We had three dogs and no major medical issues. There were only three major items of note in those years. As you notice, 2016's food bill was much higher than normal. Lexi was having some sort of allergic reaction to something, and we were trying to figure out what it was. Turns out she's allergic to poultry, of all things. Then, the vet bill in 2018 was high due to another round of teeth cleaning, this time for all three dogs. And finally, you see there was a $65 for medical special. This was a call to animal poison control because Layla decided to eat one of my wife's vitamin D pills off of the bathroom countertop one morning. On one hand, if she weren't so big, she wouldn't have been able to get to them in the first place. On the other hand, she's so big that it really didn't matter anyway in the end. She was fine. I'm still glad we called just to be safe though. This brings us to the end of 2018, where my friend was able to take Coda back. So 2019 was the cheapest year yet. No major items of note. So all in all, you can see that in the seven and a half year time frame we're talking about, we had between one and three dogs and have spent over $23,000 on food, treats, toys, general supplies, medical issues, and vet appointments. The largest two categories being food and vets. Now at an aggregate level view, this means that we spend about $260 per month on our dogs. But we can do a little bit of math to get an estimate for each dog based on some known variables and some proportions. I'll spare you the math lesson, but what it comes down to is that on average, Layla costs us about $177 per month, Lexi costs us about $95 per month, and Coda, while we have him, cost about $70 per month. Now when it comes to how much money you should budget per month if you're thinking about getting a dog, you can see what a widespread you can have. And if you didn't notice, I don't pay for a lot of things that others do. For example, grooming isn't needed for Great Danes and while we had Coda, we gave him haircuts here at the house. I don't pay for dog walkers or doggy daycare, I don't pay for pet insurance or obedience training, and there's a lot more that I don't bother with, but that you may want or need to depending on your dog and your situation. So considering all of the variables at play here, my personal opinion is that if you're planning to buy a dog, it'd be best to make sure you have room in your budget for something between $125 and $200 per month over their lifetime, depending on the breed of dog you're thinking about getting. The bigger ones definitely cost more than the little ones in general, but also understand that the early and late years can be a whole lot more expensive than the middle years, depending on what types of issues they have, so plan to spend more money up front and at the end. But at the end of the day, having a dog is a wonderful thing. They can cost you a lot of money, but when you bring one into your family and give them a loving home, they tend to give you back the love you give them tenfold. I wouldn't trade my dogs for the world. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you made it to the end and got some sort of entertainment or value out of it, please consider subscribing. Hope you have a good day. Lexi, don't go. Here, we're about to reset. We're about to reset and you're going to get a big treat. Yeah, going to get a big treat. Big dog, hey. Big dog, hey. 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 Yeah. Oh, that was good. You're looking all off to the side like you don't want to be here.
definitely don't want to be here. There's a degrading. Now let me be clear and say that I don't believe... Where are you going, Lexi? Oh. I'm right now. It's treat time. <laughs> gotta pay the... Gotta pay the acting staff. 